Hey guys, I'm Jay Bautista. How we, how's everybody doing? Hope you all doing pretty well. This is the lovely Lynn Jameson. Going to be modeling for me today. And what I'm going to be showing you is a little variation of a butterfly face, butterfly mask if you will. And today's colors we're going to be using is from Paradise, the Paradise Prisma. As you guys can see right over here. What I'm going to do first is take my sponge using just the tip. I'm going to load up my pigment like so. And I'm very careful that I'm just getting the tip and the reason being I'm going to use the other side for the other side of the face. Alrighty, so here, I'm going to head down just a little bit, beautiful, close your eyes. I'm going to lay the cake on with my sponge. And covering the eye. Make sure you got enough pigment on your sponge to last the entire space of the face that you're using. And what I'm using for my sponge is I'm using the front part right here to lay the cake down, using the back part just a little bit to blend it. Stretching it out just a little bit. So once I get that side of the face done, I'm going to work over to the other side of the face. And once again, I'm going to go back to my water. And when you paint, you want to make sure you're very careful that you just get a little bit of water right here on the tip of the sponge. So I'm going to go back and load up my pigment. And I'm actually doing it the reverse side because I kind of want to get that same look that I got on that first side. So make sure the pigment's loaded. And we're going to do this side of the face. For me, I always start on the eyeball and then work my way out. Towards the top of the face, then I work it out, and then down. And I'm going back in and loading up some more pigment here. We all love pigment. Covering the eye just a little bit more and using the back of the sponge again to blend it a little bit more. And a little bit on the top here. And a little bit on the bottom. And for those of you watching at home, which I hope you are watching at home, uh, you can use any color that you want. It really doesn't matter depending on you know what color the actual client wants. They want pinks, purples, blue, gold. Use whatever you want. Variations of it. Doesn't matter. Um, what I'm going to use here is a number four 7000 series low Cornell number four brush. And what I do here is I load up my pigment. This is Black Wolf 010. So here we go. What we're going to do is start laying down some work. And we all like to do work. Work smirk. <laughs> and then likes to laugh, so here we go. We're going to start right here. And I usually start my butterfly right over here. And kind of swoop it out this way. And then up like a so. So what I do is I actually bring it down almost like a like an edgy kind of look. Bring it down here. I guess you could call that a... Uh, bird, bird feather, something of that nature, and just feather it down like that. Then what I'll do is, if I do here, I'm going to do this side. I don't like to put the pigment here or start the line here. I like to start it more on this side over here. That's just a personal preference. So, like that. 
and that gives you the kind of shape where it's the butterfly-esque wing. So I did that side using the same brush right here, number four, Lowell Cornell, 7000 series. So we're going to turn the head over here, and then we're going to do the same thing. We do one to one side as we, that's right, if you know your algebra, do one to others. So we're going to do that over here, and bring that up over here. That's right, I just hit the camera with the paintbrush. The back end of the paintbrush, that is. And John just looked at me like he was going to kill me. <laughs> so what we did here is we're going for the same look as we did over here as we're doing over here as well. So we're still going to do the same thing. We're not going to start right here. We're going to bring it, let's start the line all the way over here. And we're going to try to get the exact same line if we can. So we're going to do this right here. And we're going to do that line right there. And then bring it up again. Like a so. So once we have that base down, we know where we can go to next. Where we're going to go to next, you may ask, I'm going to tell you. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to do number two, same series, 7000 series, Lowell Cornell. And we're going to load it up and load it up to where you get a good amount of pigment on there. Make sure you get your tip like a so. And then once that's good, you can go back in and these lines right here, what we're going to do is just cup it. We're going to cup it this way. I'm just going to cup it like a so, like a so. We're just going to keep on cupping it down until we get to the end here. And when we get to the end here, use a drag and drop method for the teardrops. Like so. And you can do the bottom part as well. Now you don't have to be exact on the amount of little lines that you get right here. The more you can get in, you know, the better. If not, that's okay. Don't worry about it. And once we get that side, remember your algebra. What you do on the one side, you are going to, that's right, do on to the other. So let's get a good angle here so you guys can see. I'm going to do that, and we're going to cup it down, cup it down, and we're going to, like so, and bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, and guess what, one more time we're going to bring it up. So <laughs> now we have those lines there, if you look at both sides, very similar in nature of how both sides look. And we're going to do the drag and drop method. Now remember, that's not drag and drop, like drag and like, arr, drag and, but like drag and drop, like, you know, you, you drag the paintbrush down and then, and then drop it, like that, that drag and drop. This drag and drop has no fire, ladies and gentlemen. If you want fire, it's next door at the Mexican restaurant. That's got a lot of fire there. So we're going to turn you a little bit more and use the same method, the drag and drop method right over here. And do that like so. Now how we connect it to make it an actual butterfly is the centerpiece. These two wings, very wingy, and we have cross eyes, which is good. So we're going to put a little dot right here in the center. As you can see, that's going to be the butterfly head. And I like to keep my butterfly head simple because uh, this design is meant for painting uh, high volume. So if you've got a line of kids and they want a butterfly, uh, this actually works out really well. And then two little swirls here. 
and you have yourself a little butterfly mask. Now you can spruce it up with whatever you want to. You could put uh, glitter in there, you could put highlights in there, you could put jewels in there, you could put um, whatever you want. And you could use your liquid bling if you got that. Uh, what I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and use white highlights. Wolf highlights. Wolf effects. Zero, zero, one. So load up your pigment. And you just want to get, you don't want to get too, too much pigment on there, but you don't want a dry brush. You want it just enough to where you know you're just going to get the nice little highlights off of it. And we're going to go in there and do a nice little little highlights right there. There's a nice little highlight right here. And with with the highlights on the teardrops, what I I'm doing I'm doing the drag and drop, then I cut back again with it. So I drag and drop and I cut it back. And some more highlights there. And some more highlights here and you guessed it more highlights there so we got all those highlights there very nice what we can go ahead and do as well is this right here so we're going to do the highlights on this side number one number two number three four and five and you may be asking yourself, like, this is a pretty edgy kind of rocker butterfly. It's not your typical, you know, curly, swirly, cutesy butterfly. It looks really good, and it looks really rocking. So that's the kind of style I like to show people is how to, you know, mix it up a little bit, uh, change it to where it's kind of funky, and just a little bit different. So once we got the highlights here, you can even highlight those little swirls right there. These little swirls, highlight them. A, and then voila. So we have this right here. It's pretty simple for you guys at home. Take it, learn it, copy it, put it on your board. Um, what I'm gonna do here to finish it off is gonna take a little bit of glitter. And I get my glitter from Michaels. It's loose glitter, it's the fine glitter. Um, what I do is I have a, a brush right here. It's an old brush. I don't use it anymore to paint. So I take it, I put a little bit of water in it, and then what I do is I go ahead and take the brush and just kind of roll it in the glitter. Um, it, it, it's easier for me to do it this way because this is the way I was taught how to do. So I just roll the glitter on here. As we know, old habits die hard. So if it's not broke, don't fix it. It's an easy way for me to do it. So that's what I do, just roll the glitter on, like so. And then I say, who's next? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that at home. Tune in to fabatv.com. Join today.